Mike Ben. Good. Enjoying the dumb That is a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, what do you have a 52 tally? Yeah. That's not bad. I could think of worse things to do on a Friday yeah, right. afternoon. Right. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you learn my videos, man. I'm out of business. I don't, I, come on now. I feel bad already. I feel bad enough I've been forced into retirement. I need to take a gig. What do you got? You got two amps. You know, how to, you know how to split it. What do you do? Well, you, you tempt fate, my friend. <laughs> and what you do is you daisy chain them. Oh yeah. Okay. Now you, this usually involves a milk crate, a Pat's blue ribbon sign. And the smell of fried, not just fried chicken wings, but just general fried. I mean, mozzarella sticks, chicken wings, French fries, napkins, they'd fry everything. Now, I may die doing this. This may be, this is it. This could be it. Okay, concrete floor. <laughs> we got it on video, don't worry. We got it on video, my Joe's last moments. <laughs> Now, in a club setting or in my mind, that is a perfectly acceptable noise floor, okay? So what? shows is it's it's this and that it's always a solution 
There's always a low tech solution. There's always it's never impossible. It's never anything. So let's let's play some different guitars through this right now that we've agreed that loud is better. Stratocaster in your life, the first thing you do is you take the original tremolo bar, you unwind it, you put it in a Ziploc bag, you then put it into some sort of eagle or some sort of safe with a combination lock that only you and maybe two people have, okay, you know, and, and then take a blood oath to never reveal the, the safe, okay? Because what'll happen is you'll say, hey, look at my, look at my Selmer 50, you know, the 64, you know, Fiesta Red Strat, it's like really awesome, super rare. And you hand it to somebody and like, oh wow, it's got a trim on it. And immediately they, be, they, they transfix and they think they're playing Eruption in 1978. Yeah. And what happens is the tremolo arm breaks off. Mm -hmm. And then you get the guitar back and you're holding half a tremolo arm. Yeah. And then have to drill that out. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. <laughs> Nice job. You have to show that to me because I have to rehearse next week. All right, so this, this, um, this by all intents and purposes, the, 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 you would say, well, you got two humbuckers, same control panel and stuff like that. Completely different, completely different guitar. Right. You know, 335, there's, they're hollow. Well, that one has a, they, they have a, they have an anti, they have a, they're solid in the middle and then they're right. hollow on the side. So at the end of the, it, they do, they do produce a different sound. So try, try something on that one and we'll play this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
this is the. I didn't do anything. That's good. They're, they're, trick that I know. So I can say that. Like 37 minutes. My entire career and everything. Everything that I know. Thanks for watching the Vault Sessions. Every view and subscription we get. It helps us buy guitars for kids. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch more Vault Sessions. And visit the website here. Perfect. To learn more about the Cars for Kids program. I love it. I love it. For every $100, you can buy a kid a guitar and 10 weeks of lessons. You're hired. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Nailed it. You got it. Yeah.